Hey Mol, where are we? Oh, we're at T-Bay Services, aren't we? T-Bay Services, on the way to Scotland. Are you waiting for Mummy? Where's she gone? She's going to get some food, hasn't she? <laughs> it's freezing! What's that? Oh, oh sorry. Please let me in the water. Please let me in the water. No, you're not allowed in the water. No, we let you have a paddle, that's it. Because you won't come back. <laughs> it was a seagull. Morning Molly. Molly. <laughs> Molly's sulking because she's got a purple lead on. She's not a big fan of this one. But as we're about to walk into Edinburgh City Centre, it's something she needs to wear. So, where are we? Good question, Molly. Where are we? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> we are in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> now we're off the we're at the Caravan Mayhem Club site. We're about to head off to Edinburgh. We're gonna walk in. It's about uh, four miles, so it's about an hour and a half walk. So we're about to do that now. We arrived last night at a barbecue in a very nice sleep, and we walked along the front to the harbour, the yacht club, which was very nice. It was nice, yeah, lovely walk. It's quite a surprise actually, just across the road. Show you. Yeah, it was really good, just across the road from the club site. Oh, it's a sky, lovely yeah. site as well. It keeps raining today, and then stopped raining, and then sunny. So we'll go to Edinburgh. Let's go. So we've arrived at the Royal Botanical Gardens, Edinburgh. And we have walked here three miles exactly from the campsite. Yeah, you can see the castle is just at the end of the road. We'll show you a second. And there's a park opposite. Massive park opposite, so we're going to go into that and have a look. The well, Botanic Gardens is free. But there's but a small problem. Dogs can't go in. No dogs, apart from guide dogs. So Caroline's always wanted to come here, so she's going to go and have a look around the road. I'm going to take Molly to the massive park opposite, show you around, so you can see. It's over the road, there's a massive beautiful park. So I'll go there and then and I'll Colin. whiz around the botanic gardens to get a feel for it. So we'll see you in three hours. <laughs> Chinese mountain trek. Wow, the largest collection of Chinese plants outside of China. The Chinese gardens. Beautiful. Oops. She took my picture.
so peaceful. So calming the sound of running water. Well, I might need the toilet now. Little maintenance. In the pond. Try not to rock my phone in. These are the rhododendrons and we looked at some in Tatton Park a few weeks back and these are just even better than Tatton Park, sorry Tatton Park. So many colours. Mega, how many panes of glass? Queen Mother's Memorial Garden. Chilean firebush and look they look like little thin chilies plants are so amazing Right, you can go off the lead now here, look. You can go off the lead. This is a lovely park, directly opposite the Royal Botanic Gardens. So, Molly's gonna get let off for a run round and take her nose get off. Come here then, come here. Molly, come here. Right, stay close. Go. This way. Find me a stick then. We'll go for a walk. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the castle is just in the background. Just there. There. Castle. Just there. Where we're heading to shortly. Not inside, because we've brought Molly, but we're going to go and explore Edinburgh. We've been to the castle before, so we'll be here for Molly for probably an hour at this park while Mum explores the gardens. Stay. Day. Go on then. We've decided to have a rest on a bench, haven't we, Mal? While we're waiting. Because we could be here for some time. Gorgeous park. Inverleith Park. Never been before. Okay, so I don't know if you can see in the background, we're in the middle of Edinburgh and you've been through the town gardens. Oh, it was so good, totally recommend it. It was free to get in and I would have paid. So we, uh, I was there for an hour and the shop is just beyond cute. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're going to explore Edinburgh now, sorry. I was waiting for an hour and a quarter, I'm starving. So the castle's behind us, we're going to go there and then get something to eat. So we are at Edinburgh Castle, which is in the background with Molly. A couple of minutes to one, ready for the... Uh, Gone. We're gone. Boom. Molly. One o'clock. <laughs> Molly does not like loud bangs. We're not sure why we're doing this, but we thought we'd come. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we Iconic. didn't. I don't think we thought it through. We just thought, oh, we have to go to the castle at one o'clock. Yeah. So All we're right. going to do this. Mm. Then we're going down below the castle for a picnic in the grounds. Yes. Decided to do that. Yeah. Instead of uh, going to a restaurant or a bar, so we can sit in the grounds of the castle and have a picnic. It's a nice day. So yeah, we're going to explore more of Edinburgh. Don't scream. I cannot promise I will not scream. Perfect. Bang on time. 
That was loud. Well done, Molly. Bye. Molly doesn't like the camera obscura. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that dog's looking at you. Look, that dog's looking at you. Molly, that dog's looking at you. Molly. Come on. I like this vision of me back. Oh, you don't mind that one? She's just mind skinny Molly. <laughs> she was horrified by fat Molly. <laughs> I feel like a plain one. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> you won't feel the camp about it. I won't fit anywhere. If you Everything's eerily quiet. Never seen any of this quiet before. Yeah, stored on top of Colton Hill. Have a look at the city of Edinburgh. It's very windy. So we're back down. So we've been uh, we've been um, everywhere. Everywhere. We've yeah. been to Colton Hill. We've walked round. Colton Hill, yes. We've had look. We've been to Queens. With the Queen's Gallery. No, we didn't go in there. We've been to Big Park. We've been to shops. We've been to we had lunch. Had that already? Yeah. Um, yeah, we had a nice picnic in, in the Princess Gardens. Yeah. Um, that was nice. And now we're outside the Scottish Parliament building. You can see the sign somewhere. Oh, yeah, we also, uh, yeah, we had a nice cup of tea at Holyrood tea. Cafe. <laughs> yeah, Holyrood Palace Cafe, was it? Yeah, yeah, basically the cafe. Yeah, you can sit outside because I'm not sure you don't think dogs in the palace. No. But we sat outside, had nice uh, tea and scones. So it's now, really windy there as well. Yeah. So. We're now heading back to go to Grey Friars Kirkyard on the way back down Royal Mile, and then we're going to head back to the campsite. Because it's a four mile walk home. Yes, it's not far. <laughs> we've only done seven so far. Just <laughs> seven miles today. I mean, you know, we really like to take it easy when we're on our holidays. <laughs> we want the scone off. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So for Harry Potter fans, we are in Greyfriars Graveyard, where the gravestone of Tom Riddle was, where J.K. Rowling apparently based the book series of books on. We always go to such popular holiday destinations. <laughs> Graveyard, well, it's free. Um, but no, it's interesting, because it's obviously Harry Potter. You hear some singing in the background, that's the, uh, the Scotland fans who've just uh, been playing football and lost, sadly. So, Molly and I are waiting again, aren't we Molly? We're waiting outside this time. Primark, Edinburgh. Caroline's favourite shop. <laughs> I think we might be here even longer than the Botanical Gardens. Molly's very patiently waiting. So we've just got back from Edinburgh. We've been walking for 15 miles. <laughs> and Molly is very tired, she's not slept all day. She had an hour and a half in the park chasing sticks 
and she's literally got in, had her tea and fallen asleep in a water bowl. So, um, yeah, we'll leave her to sleep there. I reckon she might sleep into the morning. So, as has become our camper van tradition, trying the local real ale or local beers um, is something now we do everywhere we go, <laughs> just because it's great. Um, so, we're able to get two from the Stewart Brewery. Um, this one, Edinburgh Gold which looks very nice indeed. They're brewed in Edinburgh. And this one is Hollywood Pale Ale. So I'm going to start with that one first. Then that Hollywood Pale Ale. And this one, Innocent Gone. Now, they can get this in most supermarkets, in fairness. But it is from Edinburgh. Um, but it's really nice because it's actually, they actually use single malt whiskey cask to mature matured the beer, which is fantastic. But they're all from Edinburgh, as you can see. So again, local beer, try and... And just so she's not left out, Caroline's got in on the act and figured out what I've been doing. So she's decided to try local gin. Um, so she's going for the Edinburgh gin, raspberry gin fizz. Uh, pretending she's all sophisticated and stuff. I am, GP. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. It's day two, three. When, when? Day? No, it's not Tuesday. Wednesday, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Lots Tuesday. Of days. Oh, isn't it great when you don't go to work and you've forgotten the days? Sorry, Molly, it's underneath the table. Oh, she's just knocking the camera. So we've just, uh, we're about to leave Edinburgh site. We haven't done much filming here because we've been enjoying ourselves, to be honest. Um, really, really impressed with this site. I think it's my favourite so far. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's really quiet. Um, it's full, I, but quiet. Yeah, I, I said, because we're quite near to the uh, toilet block. We're opposite, we'll show you in a um, second so you can see where it is. I thought it'd be a bit busy and you know noisy and you know Molly was a bit disturbed by lots of people walking past but yeah not barely anybody. It's brilliant it's literally three miles outside of Edinburgh so yesterday we walked in um, four miles door to door to the castle so yeah we, we got back last night and fell asleep. <laughs> if we look a bit tired today that's because we are. <laughs> yeah we walked, uh, we walked 16 miles yesterday um, which obviously is quite a lot but we quite like walking when we're away in the camp van so it's fine um, but I think if you came here and you had bikes it'd be absolutely perfect there's loads of cycle paths and stuff straight around the city and from the, from the centre you can go into the front opposite the site there is a, a pathway down some steps literally down to the, the esplanade isn't there yeah yeah some some woods it's just a little trackway through you walk right down and then it's just the yeah the harbour side it's um, fantastic really lovely we're yeah. about to go out now we'll give a quick tour of the site very quick tour because we're going to head off we're going to our next stop in the centre of the highlands and next and then we're going to go to um just along to the beach if you turn left at the campsite there's a beach uh, just a short distance away so you're going to see what that's like we'll show you on a map yeah but it's um absolutely fantastic site really really impressed everything's clean like all the sanitizer stations are all full the bins are empty constantly the bathroom's kept immaculate um, and it's really well kept isn't it really, yeah really well kept. ideally located for the city if you want to explore edinburgh this is a really good site to come to you know you can get there's a shuttle bus straight from it we'll do more information on this towards the end of the video oh yeah yeah we walk but you don't have to yeah. even if you're not a lunatic um <laughs> there is a there is a bus that will pick you up from literally outside the site or actually just in the you know like there's in a mini bus the, for the, the site door. you can yeah. book or there's also actual bus routes and stuff nearby um but it's, it's close to everything but as i say if you brought bikes it'd be absolutely perfect i think you can hear at the moment there's a plane going overhead, not too far from the flight path. So every sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, you can see, you can see a big plane coming over. It's really quite nice. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go and just show you around the site and then we'll head into... KLM, that one of us. <laughs> plane, plane spotting. <laughs> I wonder if it might be busier though, in, you know, in know, still when there's more planes yeah. flying. I, I don't know how it would compare, you know, in sort of peak holiday season when there's millions of planes going over. Yeah. But it's not. Not a problem. No, no problem. Okay, so we'll head off now and we'll search you in shortly. Just so you can see, Molly is under the table while we're filming. This is a favourite spot, uh, sitting between us while we're, and doesn't quite understand why we're talking to ourselves. <sighs> One of the best inventions on a camper fan when you've got a dog and a wife who's scared of flying things is a fly screen. Don't blame that on me. You're <laughs> the one that runs off in the bees, you big fibber. <laughs> So you can see the site, this is where we are. Basically, this is the camper van and that is the toilet block. Um, but a really nice site. You can see some of them were under the trees. It's also really well sheltered because obviously it's um, on in between all the trees. So when it's windy, you don't get a great deal of wind. So the pop top was really stable um, and the pitches are hard standing. There's some grass ones as well, I think. Um, and then you can see yeah, nicely laid out with barriers in between them, like 
trees on most of them. So, really nice sight. Over there, you're also directly opposite, which is even better. There's a spot for water and also for the washing up and bins recycling, etc. But ideal for dropping the grey waste as well on the floor over there, if you can see my finger is. It's a grey waste disposal, water point for motorhomes over there, and then fresh water as well. So great for filling up the kettle in the morning. So if you can see in the distance there, that is an island that's just off the shoreline. This is I'm literally half a mile from the campsite, campsite uh, or our pitch, and that is basically, um, you can walk out to it when the tide is low. We haven't done it because we didn't time the tides quite right and we're about to head off, but it looks really cool. Low tide, you can tide the time, 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 time the tides and you can out to it. I've been trying to capture this for ages with my camera, but there's a plane there, you can see, just going overhead. And then just to the left is the fourth road bridge. You see that in the distance. You might not be able to see it from here now, but it is. I'll try and show you just there. Anyway, we're just um, just leaving this site, aren't we? Yes, just leaving. Yep, so we're heading to next stop, next stop in the Highlands. Perfect over the grid first time. Love these type of uh, waste disposals. Right opposite our pitch, which is really handy. So just spin it round because it's a one-way system and then we're off. So we are leaving the site just now. There's loads of uh, waste points and drinking water. Loads of really good places around the campsite. We parked obviously next to one of the toilet blocks. It's like in a figure of eight. You've got two sides to it. And it's a really well laid out site. Um, definitely 100% would return to this one, would you? Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. I think um, we'd come for longer because there's so much to do, especially on the shore from which we've not really had a chance to discover properly because we went to Edinburgh. But this is a great thing with having obviously a camper van. You can go in and find places, do some, do a tour, and then go back to it and spend longer. So yeah, we're literally just about to drive out the barrier and then we're going to call in to pick up some supplies. We need some more water and drinking water and a few other bits and pieces. And then we're off to our next stop which is killing. thing as well you've got overnight uh, landing stops here on the left hand side so you can see you can park up there's a minibus about to leave heading to Edinburgh with all the people um, so you can go into Edinburgh from here there's a minibus and then you can just literally drop these off can you get in without me oh, let's try oh look at that magic done Oh, I'm impressed. We're free to leave. All right, off to kill him. Exactly 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, bang on. He's got him on his way. <laughs> off to kill him. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> I did that. Let's try again. Oh, okay. We've arrived at the Royal Botanic. Royal Botanic, check this out. Royal Botanic Garden. Our garden. Louder. Louder. Yeah. Uh,